Ali Dabewala is one of India's most important post-colonial Indian sculptors. He was an autodidact. Uh, he learned uh, the basic techniques of sculpture uh, from uh, N.G. Pansari. He learned what it meant to be an artist from Bakre, Sadanan Bakre, who was the founder member of the Progressive Artist Group. Uh, he was very inspired by Bakre's uh, one-man show. But when it came to uh, his artistic sources, he was uh, more interested in Western art history and uh, also in Greek mythology and uh, in Christian narratives. But he was also interested in um, you know, uh, classical Indian sculpture. And he had these two uh, strains in his work. One was the more militaristic one and the other was the more tender one. And uh, when you look at the work Mother and Child, made in 1964, out of scrap wood, when you look at that work, uh, you realize that it is made in, in a more militaristic mode. Uh, it has uh, very sharp edges. It's an uh, abstract assemblage uh, made out of uh, you know, geometric pieces, uh, triangles and rectangles. And what is very interesting is that this is a sculpture which is made out of found materials. So he would uh, go to a friend's house which was under renovation or he'd pick up some urban debris. And uh, you could see mother and child more within the lineage of uh, Julio Gonzalez and his uh, cubist uh, sculptures. Mother and child is a sculptural assemblage which breaks form in the cubist style. So you, you, you look at the sculpture from various perspectives and it also, in a way, encodes all the pressures of a fragmented modernity. When you look at mother and child, you, you, you feel that the artist still aspires to make an alchemy. And why do I say this? Because uh, this was the 1960s and uh, it was a time of great political turbulence. Uh, it was a time when Nehru passed away in 1964. It was time of the Vietnam War. It was the time of the Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Act was passed in 1964. So uh, in this period, uh, you have a sculpture like Mother and Child, which is talking about all these unresolved issues of modernity. And yet, despite its fragmented look, there is also a need to uh, talk about hope.